long tail maggots, plantain squirrel, fruit bats. These are just some of the wildlife that you can see in Sungai Buloh Wetland Reserve. Perched at the northwestern tip of Singapore, Sungai Buloh Wetland Reserve was discovered by a group of bird watchers. Their efforts to conserve Sungai Buloh came to fruition in 1989, when the government officially designated the site as a nature park. The reserve is dominated by mangroves, mudflats, forests, and is home to a large variety of wildlife. With the opening of the East Extension in 2014, new features including the mud experience, mid canopy walk, observation port, and coastal boardwalk allow visitors to visit the mud flats at low tide or experience being in the understory of a secondary forest. The mangrove forest provides food and shelter for a bewildering variety of land and aquatic animals such as mud skipper, crabs and shellfish. Mud skippers are amphibious fish, which means that they are able to leave water for extended period of time. They are quite active when out of water and uses their fin to move around. Shellfish can be spotted at low tide gliding through the mud flats. Tree climbing crabs and sea snails climb up tree trunks at high tide to avoid aquatic predators. When visiting the reserve, you are almost certain to encounter the white-breasted water hen roaming freely in the reserve. They are known to be very bold and sometimes wander within few feet from humans. The oriental pipe hornbill, usually in pairs, can be spotted frequently in the reserve. Their diet consists of wild fruits, but occasionally, it will also take large insects, frogs or even small birds. Many visitors have mistaken the Malayan water monitor lizard as iguanas, komodo dragon, or even as crocodiles. In fact, they are very shy and avoid coming into contact with humans. However, do not provoke them as they may attack in order to protect themselves. Crossing the main bridge leads you to the inner part of the nature reserve where you can trek on any of the trails to enjoy the nature of the reserve. Remember to keep clear of the water edge as estuarine crocodiles are a common sight in the reserve. These awesome reptiles spend a lot of their time basking along river bank with their mouth wide open to cool themselves down. Keep a lookout for the legendary tailors, the one and only tailors male crocodile in Sungai Bolo. It was believed that he lost its tail as a result of an attack by a larger crocodile in 2009. Flocks of milky stocks resting and feeding in Sungai Bulo is a rare sight. They can always be seen perching on trees during high tide. And at low tide, you can see them strolling through the mud flats looking for food. Did you notice that the legs of the milky stock actually bend forward when they appear to kneel down? Another spectacular bird often seen in the reserve is the grey heron. The retracted long neck is one of the characteristics which distinguish them from stocks and cranes. They spend much of their time on ground striding about or standing still for long periods with an upright stance. Watch this little heron standing still at the water's edge, waiting to ambush small fish, frogs and aquatic insects. Sungai Bulo Wetland Reserve is home to different species of egrets as well, and it is not easy to identify the correct species when you see one. The reserve is also recognised as a site of international importance for migratory birds. From September to March each year, 
thousands of birds from as far away as Siberia, use Singapore as a resting point and route to Australia. This is a migration route that takes birds from the northern countries of Asia, across Indochina and Thailand, then down through Peninsular Malaysia. Singapore, being at the southern tip of the peninsula, is a focal point for these migrants. Some of them spend their entire winter here, others use Singapore as a transit stop. They feed and roast here for a few days, then resume their journey southward to Indonesia, Australia or New Zealand. With some luck, you may be able to catch a glimpse of the Mongolian plovers and curlew sandpipers, arriving by hundreds at the coastal mud flats. Common red shanks, marsh sandpipers and Pacific golden plovers are some of the other waders commonly encountered at the park. The wetlands of Sungai Bulo are a dream come true for nature lovers. If you want to take a break from the concrete jungle of the city, head to this ecological jam in northwestern of Singapore for a breath of fresh air. <laughs>